Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create an online appointment booking system for the salon or other businesses. This is an example of the appointment booking form that I have created using this plugin. In the first step, they can select the service they want. They can also select multiple services. Once the service is selected, they can go to the next. The next option will be to select the staff. They can select the staff from here. Once the staff is selected, they can select the date and time for the appointment. Let's select this date and you will see the time slot also. So this is the time slot that I have already created from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So you can also customize the working hours. So let's see, I'm going to select this one. After selecting the date and the time, customer can enter their first name, last name, email address, phone number and other description. Click next and on the next step, it will show the summary of the booking. This is the name of the customer, the service date and time. And this is the actual amount of the service. And once it is done, they can click on book appointment. And at the end, they will get the message. The appointment is booked successfully. These are the details. The customer will be able to add the appointment to their Google Calendar or Yahoo Calendar. This is for the customer. Now, if I go to admin panel, the admin will be able to see all the appointments on the dashboard. They can approve the appointment. They can cancel the appointment. They can see the appointments in the calendar also. So this booking plugin is fully customizable. You can also add number of staffs. You can add different services and you can also accept payments on your website. You can integrate PayPal, Stripe and many other payment gateways in your booking system. So let's see how we can create an online appointment booking system. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Let me first show you the website of the plugin that I'm going to use in this video. This is the website of the plugin. The name of the plugin is Booking Press. And here you will see the features of this plugin, appointments and scheduling WordPress booking plugin. And you can use this plugin not only for the salon, you can use it for gym, health, dental clinics, tutor, spa and wellness, yoga classes, maintenance and repair. So you can use this booking plugin for many other businesses. You can create booking forms. It is easy to manage appointments and you can also get automatic notifications via email, WhatsApp, SMS. If you have employees, you can schedule the employees. You can have staff members in the booking. You can manage the calendar. And here you will see many other additional features that you can use in this plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to buy this plugin, you can use my link in the description box. If there is any discount coupon, I'll add that coupon in the description box. You can also accept the payments on your website using PayPal, Stripe and many other payment gateways. You will see the list here. Let me show you the pricing here. The pricing of this plugin is $69 per year and you can use it on one website. If you want to use it on multiple websites, the pricing will be $119 per year. You can create unlimited appointments. You can have staff management, fully customizable and premium support. 17 payment gateways are available and 35 plus add-ons included. So you see all these add-ons here. These add-ons are already included in the paid plan. So I have already downloaded this plugin and I'm going to install this plugin now. So let's go to the dashboard of the website and go to plugins and click on add new. Go to upload plugin. When you buy this plugin, you will create an account on this website and you will get the option to download the plugin inside the account. I have it downloaded. So I'm going to select the file and I'm going to install it now. The plugin is uploaded. Click on activate plugin. All right, so the plugin is activated and in the left hand panel, you will see the option booking press click on it. So for the first time, it will show you the setup wizard. If you want to go through the setup wizard, you can go through the setup wizard or you can do it manually. Here you will see the option close and exit the wizard without saving. So I'm going to go through the setup wizard. So let me enter the name here. So this will be the name of the company. I'm going to add some dummy address here. And this is the time format. I'll keep it on 12 hour format. 
this is the date format you can change the format you can have year month date so i'm going to select day month and year so this will be the date format for me and i'm going to keep the country as united states you can add the phone number here so i'm going to add some dummy number this is the time zone and you can add your website address here and you can upload the logo do you have multiple staff so if you have multiple staff you can select yes otherwise you can select no in this case i'm going to create multiple staff click next now this is your default working hours monday tuesday wednesday you can customize i'm going to make it 9 a.m to 9 p.m same for all the days and i'm going to make it as 9 a.m to 5 p.m for saturday all right so and on the sunday i'm going to make it off i'm going to mark it as off the currency will be us dollar and click on next now here you can add the staff so i'm going to create one staff here first name last name email and let's add the phone number now here you can see the staff permission allow edit or delete their appointments so i'm going to select yes allow customer handling can view payment activities now let's add one more staff here so we have got two staff members here let's click next and we need to create the service so let's add some services here we are going to create the booking form for the salon so we are going to add some service name here let's say haircut so there are different types of services that you can add here so price will be 30 dollars okay so this is the first service let's add the second one okay what else you can add here let's add shaving let's mark it as 10 dollars change the time duration to 20 minutes now whatever services you want to add you can add the services here let's add one more price will be let's say 40 dollars and let's make it 40 minutes let's add one more service here hair dye and the pricing will be 50 dollars and let's make it 60 minutes if you want to add description you can add description let's click next we have added four services and here you will see font selection you can change these font settings i'm not going to make any changes we can do it manually later also i'm going to select staff first and then select service or you can select service first and then select staff let's click finish all right so it says that the everything is ready to accept okay so it shows booking appointment this is the url so i'm going to see how does this look this page is created automatically and you can see the form is ready here you can see the four services that we created let's select this one now here you can see this is today's date if you go to the next month you can see that we are not able to select the sunday because we have off on it if i select saturday we have time slot between 9 to 5 it must be between 9 to 5 okay so this is good you can select up to 5 if i select something between monday to friday the time should be between 9 a.m to 9 p.m that's good you can see up to 9 p.m is there and the time slot is about half an hour one time slot select this one and here the customer can enter their first name last name email address phone number and if there is any description they can add the description here and it will show the summary now before that we will go to the dashboard and let's see if we can change other settings so let's close this one it seems that your booking press license is not active you can activate the license here if i click on it it will go to this license page so when you buy the plugin you will get the license key also you just need to enter the license key here so when i go to settings you will see all the basic settings here you can change the time slot right now it is set to 30 minutes so you can see the time slot here data under date and time you will see the time slots are created using 30 minutes you can change it from here if you want to make it 15 minutes you can use the 15 minutes 
show time as per service duration so it can show the time as per service duration also these are the default settings you can go through these settings these are pretty basic settings let's go to company this is your company name and if you want to upload logo you can upload the logo from here working hours you can change the working hours from here let's go to payments and right now if you want to add payments you can add the payment you can add the payment gateway i'm going to use paypal if you want to add paypal you can enter your paypal merchant email api username api password and api signature you will get all these details from the paypal website so once you enable the paypal payment gateway you will be able to accept payments on your website so let's go back to the dashboard and here you can see appointments if someone makes an appointment it will show the appointments here right now there are no appointments if you go to calendar you can see all the appointments here if you want to add appointment manually you can add the appointment manually from here you can select service and you can select the customer details and you can add the appointment manually from here these are the services so you can see the four services that we created here let's do one thing go back to the website and let's test the form so we have selected some services date time and we are going to add some dummy information here so i'm going to testing the form and click next that will be the summary so here you can see the summary the name of the customer the services the time and the total amount payable and click on book appointment all right so you can see the booking id is there and the customer can add the booking to their calendar if they are using google calendar yahoo calendar they can add this booking into their calendar let's go back to the dashboard of the admin and let's go to the appointments now it shows the appointment date till this one so i'm going to change the date here from 25 to let's say for the next 31 apply and you will see the new appointment created here so this is the form that we submitted here and you can see the appointment if i click on it you will see the details what services are ordered the name of the customer the email and the other details of the customer now from here you can approve the appointment or you can cancel reject no show completed once it is completed you can change the status to completed and you can mark it as approved and the customer will also get the notification that the appointment has been approved for that particular time and day now let's go back to the services if you want to add images to the services you can add the images also if i click on this service you can go to edit service and from here you can add the image for that particular service about notification so these are the notifications once the appointment is approved it is going to send this email appointment approved and this is the content of the email okay so this is how it will show this is nothing but the short code so it will show the first name and the last name of the user and these are the notifications if you want to make changes you can make changes from here let's go to dashboard now on the dashboard you will see all the details total appointments approved appointments pending appointment one customer what is the revenue it will show the dates and it will show all the details on the dashboard so this is the upcoming appointment now if i go to the website so here you can see there are some add-ons that you can use let's go to add-ons here click on add-ons and here you will see some different add-ons that you can use woocommerce is there stripe is there if you want to enable stripe you can enable the stripe so these are the add-ons that you can install let's see we have staff members click on it and we have got the staff member here let's go to configure so we can configure the staff member from here okay so here you can see the staff member and these are the settings for the staff member here you will see staff members again from where we can edit the staff member details these are the staff members that we created so i'm going to click on edit and i'm going to add some image here Let's go to the second one and add the image for the second one also all right now let's go to another add-on here you will see another option service extra now apart from the main services if you want to add extra service within that particular service you can activate this 
option X service extra you can also activate coupon management multiple quantity deposit payments now if you want them to deposit some amount of the actual service you can use this add-on if so if you want to use this appointment booking plugin on one website you can go to the standard plan that is only for 69 dollars you will get all these 17 payment gateways you will also get 35 add-ons using this plugin so this is how you can use the booking press plugin to create appointment booking forms on your website that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips